Hello, friends. Happy Friday to all of you. A fourth stimulus check may be sent out to all Social Security recipients. Up to $2,400 in extra inflation relief money may also be provided to millions of low income households. Democrats are now pushing for new Social Security changes. So, friends, please do me a favor and watch until the end of this video. To learn more about this new proposal, also to say thank you for being part of this community, I'm giving away a $50 Walmart gift card every day this month. Please, friends, make sure you enter these daily giveaways simply by clicking and liking several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these daily giveaways. Social Security provides people with an income when they retire or who can't work due to disabilities. Those who are retired can typically start receiving their Social Security benefits as early as age 62. Social Security recipients may receive an additional $2,400 a year in benefits if a new bill that's recently introduced to Congress wins approval. It is something that seniors would no doubt welcome as an increase in inflation wipes out their annual cost of living increases. The legislation is called the Social Security Expansion Act and it was introduced by Representative Peter DeFazio and Senator Bernie Sanders. Under terms of the bill, anyone who is a current Social Security recipient or who will turn 62 in 2023 will receive an extra $200 in each monthly check. Social Security legislation requires a supermajority of 60 senators to pass the Senate when the 117th Congress officially ends on January 3, 2023. Members of the next Congress would need to reintroduce any legislation that has not been passed yet. One of the provisions included in the Social Security Expansion Act is a $200 monthly increase in Social Security benefits for new and existing recipients. It is separate from the annual cost of living adjustment, so that will mean that recipients would see an extra $2,400 per year on average. The legislation as currently written would apply to increase to people who receive retirement disability, and survivor Social Security benefits, but not those who receive supplemental security income. According to experts, SSI is a needs-based program for individuals with limited income and resources. Experts explained that Social Security would use a more generous benefit formula to provide the extra $200 per month. The Social Security Administration typically computes benefits by averaging up to 35 years of a worker's earnings while also taking inflation into account. The bill would also make other changes to Social Security, including an increase to annual COLAs by adopting a new tool to measure inflation, which is called the Consumer Price Index for the elderly. COLAs are currently calculated based on percentage increase in the Consumer Price Index for urban wage earners and clerical workers. It is an inflation gauge measured by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. According to lawmakers, if the CPIE were adopted, it would more heavily weigh the disproportionate amount of money that seniors spend on things such as health care and prescription. Not only does Social Security's 2023 COLA seem to be outpacing inflation, but 2023 is also the first year in a very long time when the cost of Medicare Part B is actually going down. Seniors who are enrolled in Social Security and Medicare at the same time have their Part B premium costs deducted from their benefits automatically. For most year, Medicare Part B increases eat into COLAs, leaving millions of seniors with less of a raise left over. Because Part B is not getting more expensive in 2023, seniors should be able to keep their upcoming COLA in full. And that could really set some up for some near-term financial flexibility. Friends, the keyword for this video is green bean casserole. If you would like to enter today's Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is green bean casserole and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure friends that you're also subscribed to my channel. 
according to a recent poll that was just published today. President Biden's approval rating sits at 44 percent, remaining generally consistent with other recent polling on the president. While Biden's approval ratings remains underwater, the poll also found that 47 percent of respondents surveyed said they had voted for the president in 2020, while another 43 percent had voted for the former president. The poll is a slight shift upward since October when a morning consult survey found his approval rating at 43 percent. Recent surveys suggest that the U.S. president has seen a slight bump in approval since the midterms, when Democrats outperformed expectations by keeping control of the Senate and only losing the House of Representatives by a smaller margin. So dear friends, what are your thoughts on all of this? Please let me know in the comment section below if you think President Biden is doing a good job being president of the United States. Well, my beautiful and sweetest dear friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Friday evening. Friends, I want to say thank you so much for joining me here and watching these new videos that I post every day. I want you all to know that I greatly appreciate all of you. And to say thank you for being part of this community, I am announcing a new winner every day this month of December for the Walmart gift card giveaway. Please make sure that you enter these giveaways by clicking and liking several of my videos. And then please comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Thank you, my friends, and have a wonderful and blessed weekend. Can we do, and I appreciate that. Um, so let's talk about CFPB. You know, big businesses and their lobbyists have spent the last decade trying their hardest to take down the CFPB. And throughout it all, the CFPB has done its job holding banks and giant corporations accountable. So it is no wonder that the Chamber of Commerce and its corporate clients have now launched a new campaign, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to attack the CFPB and to attack you, Director Chopra. And that is on top of the many millions of dollars it has already spent fighting for giant banks and corporations in their right to cheat, trick, and discriminate against consumers. So I just want to talk about a few of the things that CFPB does that big banks things you did when you took over the CFPB was to launch an initiative against junk fees. You know, the couple of dollars here and a couple of dollars loading on families in order to boost corporate profits. We're talking about things like way high overdraft fees, hotel resort fees, 